Welcome to another episode of Gone Again. We're doing this video in response to being tagged by John and Joanne of Scenic Driveways to answer some questions on our thoughts on RV life. And this started with uh, Tom and Lori's RV life. They sent out this questionnaire first and then other people are being tagged. So it's just 10 questions on on uh, things that you like and don't like, things that you would change about your RV. Now, you know Linda and I don't live full time in our, in our trailer, but we do travel a lot. And uh, these things apply. And at the end of this, we're going we're going to tag a couple of people also. So let's start with number one here. It says, what is one thing you would change or add to your RV? Uh, the dedicated head. Yeah, I agree. Bathroom? It would, be, you know, we travel in a six by ten cargo trailer, and uh, the toilet facilities are outside. Whether we set up a, a, a toilet tent or or use the facilities on on site or something like that, it would be nice to have a toilet shower inside. Inside. which would require us to get a bigger cargo trailer, which we're not going to do. But that would be it. <laughs> What's the next one? What is something you didn't expect when you bought your first RV? We didn't expect it to try to kill us. Yeah, that was <laughs> quite unexpected. <laughs> Our first RV was uh, when we were, well, it depends on how far you went back you want to go. But wow. <laughs> Our first real RV was a, was a trailer we bought back in the, I don't know, about 1981, 82, something like that. And it was a Yellowstone built in the late 1940s. It was heavy, big, fat, heavy. And we were towing it with a um, Chevy Malibu. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know. Uh, we didn't know anything. But uh, what happened was, you see on that old Yellowstone, the water tank was located behind the axle. It had a single axle trailer, water tank behind. And we didn't understand about hitch loading and that thing, we lost control of it and it almost put us into oncoming traffic. And I don't remember what I did to save our butts, but it was, I, I think it had a manual brake on it, not an automatic uh, trailer brakes. I think I had to reach down and brake the trailer. And it was either that or I stepped on the gas, but somehow we lived and our children were in the back seat. They were very small and they didn't wait, they were sleeping yeah. and, they, and it didn't wake them up. But anyways, we didn't expect that. Number three is, what was the deciding factor for choosing your RV? Size. Size. We needed something we could take off road and turn around in tight spots and something easy and economical to tow. And it, it was size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, one thing that's really worked out for us on the roads that we travel is this little cargo trailer with its single action, its single axle and its high ground clearance because these roads are bad but we managed to go overland with it it's been working out really good what's the next one what's your favorite meal when camping well gotta be steak <laughs> i agree it's it's when you splurge and you buy that nice ribeye <laughs> steak with some nice grilled asparagus you know and olive oil we, Perfect. Yeah, we generally don't cook fancy meals. Uh, usually one pot meals or something and, and rice or something. Yeah, but it's usually a, a stir fry and rice and... Yeah, but the, by far the favorite is when we splurge and buy a couple of steaks. What's next? What is a must-see RV destination? What do you like? Um, yeah, South Central Utah. South Central Utah. It's um, a lot of places to go. Amazingly beautiful. The scenery is amazing. It, it is. The landscape yeah. and colors. and. Not a lot of people. Yeah. 
But yeah, South Central Utah, we love that. Utah is incredible. Not very many people living out in that direction either. Good place to get lost. What's the favorite thing about RVing? Favorite thing about RVing? Uh, for me, it's getting away from the stress. I, 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 the stress drains away after about a day after we leave home. I'm, I start to kind of get into it and forget about anything that was causing me stress before. And I just, I just love that. <laughs> no, <laughs> she doesn't cause me stress. Least favorite thing about RVing? Somebody running their generator all night long. What about you? Uh, getting caught out, meaning, oh, yeah. you know, you're driving and it's late and you're trying to find a place to camp or park or, mm -hmm. and, and there's nothing. Nowhere to go. It's getting dark. You didn't have a place to stop. That's happened to us uh, more often than I care to yeah, think about. But and sometimes it's out in the remote country areas where there's no side roads yeah sometimes it's um coming up to a, a city sometimes it's going from uh southern colorado to northern colorado on i-25 and there is no place where you're allowed you can there's no walmarts that you can pull into it's all against the law all the way from one end to the other and your only choice really if it's nighttime and you're trying to find some place to go you better look for a truck stop mm -hmm. that's your only choice Luckily, that doesn't happen very often, and we try to stop earlier nowadays. We've learned from past experiences, so now, uh, mid-afternoon, we're looking for a place to stop already. But once in a while, you get caught out, and it's not a good thing. What's next? What would be the must-have item on your next RV? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes Linda and I talk about getting a, a bigger trailer that we could just tow down to Arizona, come about November, December and stay down there till March or April. So if I did that, I think I'd want central air in it. Hmm. Yeah. What about you? Um, well, then it would be a different outfit and I want to make sure it has a comfortable bed because my bunk right now is really comfortable. <laughs> yeah, so is mine right now. It's just a cot, but I yeah. sleep better on it than I do in the house. And... Oh, I like this one. I've been waiting for this one. What is your favorite adult beverage in camp? Well, I'm not an adult yet, so <laughs> I enjoy it. I don't drink, so um, iced tea. And mine, I, uh, after a long day's drive, I, I like to have a beer or two in the evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. What is your favorite indoor RV accessory? This is the last question. What's your favorite indoor RV accessory? Uh, it has to be the heater. has to be that little propane furnace, because I'll tell you, when you wake up in the morning's chilly, and I, I get to get up and go light that little furnace and crawl back into bed, mm -hmm, it's nice to get up to a warm camp trailer. has to be that little vented propane furnace we installed. Well, that's it. That's 10 questions. And uh, we want to uh, tag, we're going to tag three people. So listen carefully. We want to tag West Coast Roller. If you're listening, we know you spend a lot of time on the road. So we want to tag you to answer these same 10 questions. Texas Tramper. We know you're into uh, getting out with your trailer and uh, experiencing the outdoors. And we know that you're um, you know, very, a very avid camper. And we want to get your in, in, input. And... Explorer 867. Now there's a fellow with uh, and his wife, uh, Rob and Helen, who are very serious about their YouTube channel and they're just getting started, but they're trying very hard to do a really good job. And they spend a lot of time on the road also out exploring. So Explorer 867, if you hear this, um, like to hear from you too. So thanks a lot. Is that about it, Linda? I think so. Pow. All right. Pow, huh? Yeah. <laughs> So thanks for tuning in and uh, be sure to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you around.
here we go. 